it's story time friends how are you today i'm miss lisa if you haven't done a story time with me before i usually get to do them at worthington park library but right now i'm doing them here wherever you are all right we have a super fun theme this week it is one of my favorites if not my absolute favorite story time theme normally i do this one at the very end of my spring session and it's nice and warm and we get to be all excited about spring and summer coming but this year we're doing it right now and another thing it's usually my favorite because i have some weird centers we do with this one and they are lots of fun like we milk a cow not a real cow just a pretend cow but we get to milk a cow and do some other fun things and i love this week but this year we have to do it a little bit differently and it's still going to be super fun are you ready another reason i really like this this theme is because I read some books that make me really embarrass myself, including this first one. Oh no, we need to do the more we get together. Are you ready? All right, we're going to start with the sign for more, which looks like this. There you go, more. The next sign we're going to use is a sign for together. We'll put our fists next to each other and stir a big pot together. And then we're going to use the sign for happy. All right, let's give it a go, ready? Oh, if you're super fast and you have super fast fingers, you can also include the same for a friend. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, you could tell it's early in the morning when I'm recording this because my first story time gets a much lower octave on that one. All right, hopefully you were able to sing along with me. I know it was a little bit low, sorry about that. All right, ready for me to embarrass myself a little bit? All right, this one is called Moo, and it's by David La Rochelle and illustrated by Mike, and I cannot say his last name but it's a great job. All right, this story actually relies a lot on the pictures. It does, because this is an almost wordless picture book where I am going to say just one, oh, two words, two words. And the first word that I'm gonna say is the title. Yeah, all right, if you have seen me do this one in story time, it is super silly and I can't believe I'm recording it so that other people can still watch it. All right, all right, so, Farms don't just have cows, do they? They have lots of different animals, and not every farm has a cow. We'll talk about some different kinds of farms in a little bit. Moo! Moo. What's she doing? She's hanging out, eating a little snacky snack. Moo! Oh, she's curious. What's she curious about? Oh, the farmer has a sign he's putting on his car. Can you see what it says? Car for sale. Oh. Moo! Wait a minute. Do you think Cal knows how to drive? I don't think so either. Oh! What'd she do? Moo! What is she doing? Did you know Cal could drive? I didn't know. Moo! Oh, she's going really fast. Look how fast those words are going. <gasps> moo! Moo! I don't know. What do you think? What do you think that means? Maybe something dangerous is happening? Or something exciting? Maybe she's seeing a party. I don't know. Ready? Oh, that probably means it's not a good thing. Huh? What do you think based on those hand motions? Ooh. Moo! I had to make sure I recorded this story time before people were in the building because I think they'd be a little curious what was happening back here. Oh no, what did she land on? Uh-oh. Does he look happy? Moo, 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 mo
Mumu, moo, 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 Do you think he liked her explanation? No. Oh, it seemed a lot faster when we were driving it. Now we gotta walk it back. Are you ready? Moo, 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 moo. This farmer look. I think you're right. Now, Cow has made some very poor choices today, hasn't she? Mm -hmm. She took a car that wasn't hers, drove without a license, landed on a police car. It's been a bad day. She's about to make it worse. Are you ready? Okay. Move. Bah! What is that cow doing? Is she saying that the sheep did it? Is that okay? No. If we make very poor decisions, which cow did, what do we need to do? We need to be honest that we did them, right? Yeah. We don't want to blame sheep for our problems and our mistakes. All right. We're going to go ahead and sing a song. We're going to give it a go with my ukulele. All right, hopefully you can tell that I have been practicing and trying to get better at it because it takes a while to get good at hard things. All right, you ready? We're gonna sing a song about a farm, I bet you know it. If you think song about a farm, what song do you think? Old MacDonald, right? All right, and since we just read about a cow, we're gonna go ahead and do Old MacDonald Had a Cow. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh good, I'm glad you know it. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to keep singing Old MacDonald's tune, but we're going to do a different story. And I love reading this book, even though it's a little bit on the long side, because it goes into a whole lot of different ways that you could farm. Because I don't know about you, but I don't live on a very large piece of land. And while I have a lot of garden, I am not a farmer. So this has some really fun ideas of ways that we can grow food. Are you ready? We're gonna sing it to the tune of Old MacDonald and we'll see if I can make it through this early in the morning. <laughs> All right. It's called Old Manhattan Has Some Farms and it's by Susan Lind Lendroth and it's illustrated by Kate Endel. It's a little bit on the long side. So if you get part of the way through this and you're a little bit over it, your grown up can fast forward to the end. Isn't that handy? I know. Can't do that when we're in person. You can't fast forward me in person. All right. And you can join me instead of E-I-E-I-O, we're going to sing E-I-E-I grow when it's time. All right? Okay. Old Manhattan has some farms, E-I-E-I grow. And on those farms we plant some food, E-I-E-I grow. On a high rise here in a backyard there, climbing up, hanging down, spreading green all over town. Old Manhattan has some farms, E-I-E-I-O. Wait a minute. Is that what you think of when you think of a farm? Do you usually think of kind of on trees and balcony or trees, <laughs> rooftops and balconies and places like that? That's not usually what we think of, is it? But there are lots of people who have farms that don't live out with lots of land. Old Atlanta has some worms, E-I-E-I -E grow. And with these worms, we transform lots, E-I-E-I -E -I grow. Spray some water here, move an earthworm there. 
pull some weeds, grab a spade, who's got veggies they can trade? Old man Atlanta has some worms. E-I-E-I grow. What do you think? Have you ever had worms? We had a worm farm for a little bit at our house. Mm -hmm. Worms are so good for your land. Yeah, they help our plants grow. Now we're gonna go to Chicago and talk about roof beds. Are you ready? Old Chicago has some roofs. E-I-E-I -E grow. And on these roofs are beds of herbs. E-I-E-I -E grow. <clears throat> With some basil here and some mint sprigs there. Pick some chives, add some dill, and string them by our windowsill. See, they're hanging them to dry. Old Chicago has some roofs. E-I-E-I -E grow. Now, I like to talk about this part too because herbs don't take up a whole lot of space when you're growing them. So they are a handy one for people who don't have a lot of land or maybe they're growing things inside. Herbs are a good pick for that. And mint smells so good when you grow it. Mm. Old Toronto has some hives, E-I-E-I -E grow. And in these hives are, what are in the hives even? Busy bees, E-I-E-I -E grow. With a buzz buzz here and a buzz buzz there. Pull the frame, spin the wax, spread some honey on our snacks. Old Toronto has some hives, E-I-E-I -E -E grow. Look at that, there's so many fun things you can do. And then Seattle. It's going to grow hydroponically, which is interesting. Old Seattle has some roots. E-I-E-I -E -I grow. And with these roots, we don't need dirt. E-I-E-I -E -I grow. With a heat lamp here, hydroponics there. Arugula radicchio. Radicchio. I knew I'd mess it up. Salad greens are great to grow. Old Seattle has some roots. E-I-E-I -E -I grow. With my friends that come in person, they know that I cannot get through this whole book without messing up that last line a lot. <laughs> the White House has three compost bins, E-I-E-I -E -I grow. And in these bins, we make new dirt, E-I-E-I -E -I grow. With some eggshells here and some peat pods there, build the layers, make a, mix a batch, fertilize the cabbage patch. The White House has three compost bins, E-I-E-I -E -I grow. So I want to talk real fast about compost because composting is an easy way for you to put your kitchen scraps, whoop, anything that you would throw away, except usually you probably don't want to do meat, but anything that you would throw away in from food, you can put in a compost bin. And then when you look down lower, look how it's turning into really well fertilized dirt. Now fertilized dirt means that it has lots of vitamins. So when you compost, you're putting the vitamins back into the ground and then your plants are gonna grow healthy. So if you have any plants at your house or even if you just have flowers, you might be able to work a compost bin, get a compost bin in there. We have a tiny one I showed you last year, a long, long time ago, that turns. So we just have a little compost bin that we turn out in our yard. Anyone can start a farm, E-I-E-I -E -I grow. And that means you can start one too, E-I-E-I -E -I grow. Line your paths up here, shovel dirt in there, plant your seeds, add some sun, yummy crops for everyone. Together we can all grow food, E-I-E-I -E -I grow. Now I love, at the end of this book, it has lots of information about different ways that you can do what is called urban gardening. So a lot of those were examples of things that you can do if you don't have a whole lot of land. And I don't have a whole big band of land. I have been thinking about, we've talked about bees here and there, trying to do bees. But some of those are things that we do at our house and we have just a tiny little yard. Some of those you can do in apartments, even if you don't have any yard at all, you can grow some stuff in your windowsills. So I know it seems a little bit daunting, but everybody can grow some type of food. Yeah even if you're not good at growing things inside, which I'm not. All right, so that was Old Manhattan Had Some Farms. I hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna do one of my favorite songs really quickly, even though we just sang that whole book, and then we're gonna read a new story. Are you ready? All right, we're gonna do one from the left. So get your fingers woken up again, ready? All right, hide them behind your back, and we're gonna bring out one finger from the left to start. One from the left. And one from the right met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called whoop de doo Then they said goodbye and walked away. 
those two. All right, we're gonna bring out two, ready? Two from the left and two from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called Snips Galore. Get it, cause they look like scissors. And they said goodbye and walked away. Those four. Good job. Now we're gonna switch to three from the left and three from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called Finger Mix. Can you switch where they're at? It's hard to do, huh? Then they said goodbye and walked away, all six. Next we're gonna do four from the left and four from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called Bend and Straight. Then they said goodbye and walked away, all eight. Good job, now we're gonna do five from the left and five from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called clap and clap and clap and clap again. Then they said goodbye and walked away. All 10. Good job. Now we did that one because we're counting to five. Actually, we're counting to 10, aren't we? And in this story, we're going to talk about five fuzzy chicks. We're going to be counting down on this one. Though. It's written by Diana Murphy or Murray, sorry, and illustrated by Sydney Hansen. Out on the farm, it's been a long day. Sun setting low, night's on the way. Everyone's tired, all the work's done, but five fuzzy chicks want to run, run, run. Five fuzzy chicks run past the plow, into the grass, and under the cow. The cow says, moo, moo. The chicks say, chee, chee. But the grass is so cozy. One chick falls asleep. So how many chicks do we have now? If we had five and one fell asleep. Five and four. Four fuzzy chicks skip by the pigs. Hop on a rock and dance silly jigs. The pigs say oink, oink. The chicks say cheep, cheep. But the moss is so soft. One chick falls asleep. All right, we had five and now we have two of them are asleep. How many do we have left? Oh, this page doesn't want to turn. There we go. Three fuzzy chicks dance in the clover. Hop past the fence and right over Rover. The dog says, woo, woo. The chicks say, choo, choo. But the dog is so snuggly. One chick falls asleep. All right, we've had one, two, three chicks fall asleep. How many are left? Let's see if I can do it. There we go. My fingers don't like to do it that way. <gasps> two fuzzy chicks skipping along. Pass by the horse and sing him a song. The horse says, nay, nay. The chicks sing, cheep, cheep. But the hay is so comfy. One chick falls asleep. <gasps> now we're just down to... One fuzzy chick out to have fun, hops by the sheep and counts every one. The sheep says, ba ba. The chick starts to cheep, but before she can finish, she falls fast asleep. Chick sleeping here, chick sleeping there, in the grass, by the stable, chicks everywhere. Mama hen hurries to gather her troops. She scoops them all up and runs back to the coop. She whispers, cluck, cluck. The chicks whisper, cheep. And their nest is so quiet, five chicks fall asleep. All right, you did such a great job with that. Let's go ahead and do Tickle the Clouds. I had so many other stories that I wanted to read, but I can't possibly read all of these stories in one story time. I know, it's really disappointing. We don't wanna spend the entire day listening to me do stories. 
So I had to limit it to just those three, but we'll go ahead and do tickle the clouds and we'll say our goodbyes. Are you ready? Can you show me your tickling fingers? Tickle the clouds and tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high. Story time's over. Let's wave goodbye. Thanks for coming today, friends. I hope you had fun learning a little bit more about life on a farm. And I hope that you'll do our follow-up video with the extensions so that you can come up with some fun ideas to do at your house all about farms. I'll see you later. Miss you.